Hello everyone, my name is Lanto90 and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Come Deliverance. Alright, so talk to everyone again. We might not level up our speech skill because I talked to people less, I skipped a bunch of dialogue that we don't have to do. Here we go, I made a decision about the carriers. Splendid. I'll be glad to get this damn business off my back. So how have you decided? Uh should I name Okay, Tonda. The wind. He carries water. So we have one per uh, the rock. Fat Peter, rock. So for some reason, even though we we did do this conversation with the rock last time, uh, we are able to give him a marigold decoction to help him heal. Carrying shit. This time, I don't know why that didn't that Good. option didn't show up before. One person for this job. Next. Uh, Vincent. Vincent. Then Cornelius is the one we leave out. Uh, Pickman. Goes by the moniker of Pickman. Pickman. No, no. Well, he can't do. He carries water. So we have. Then Antonia. Antonia. What? Oh, yeah. I did it. She can handle the job. Let's hope so. Carrying shit. Good. What? That's it. Good. I'll decide it. Good job. I chose a cook. Tell me who. Thanks. I chose all. Glad to hear it. Okay, so let's just verify. Master Bader. I should say so. The bishop's. Okay, sweet. We did it right that time. I'm annoyed that you had to do it in a very specific way. It sort of rustles my jimmies because I was pretty sure the choices we made were the correct ones the first time, but. Oh well. Annoys me that we had to look up a, a walkthrough for that. Okay, so also it makes sense now that I think about it. I didn't really think about it the first time. The other thing you do is everyone you're assigning jobs is you also ask them uh, what do I get out of it. So you get all the benefits and. Uh, or you pick all the right people and you get the uh, rewards for uh, helping them out. I think they got put in request log, maybe? Maybe not. Side. Okay. Oh, it didn't leave me with anything. This is time to action. Wait, so... Garlic soup for the winter, onion soup for the spring. Asparagus for taste... Oh, confused. Pity on me, a poor wretch. Sigismund and his murderers took everything I had. I'll be with I see you survived. Aren't you observant? You still owe me. Don't think I've forgotten. <laughs> I don't owe you. I owe your father, and he's dead. So get out of here. You bastard. You want to be see me? I can kill you and say. You want to make me angry or. You can't avoid this forever, you know. You just won't give me a break, will you? Fine, I owe you. And what am I supposed to do about it? You think you'll get anything from me? Look at what I've got! <laughs> but maybe I could... Maybe I could tell you where you can find some money. If you forgive my debt, that is. 
Oh. All right, then. Start talking. No. First, I want you to swear you won't be demanding anything else from me. It's better than stealing. <laughs> Very well, well then. Take Talk. Care. When we were running from Scalettes, I heard something. I don't know who said it. It's a miracle I could even hear it in that chaos. By the way, somebody hid a lot of coin under a dove cut. Under a dove cut? And that's it? That's all I know. How many dove cuts could there be in Scalettes? If you've got the guts to go back there, you're bound to find it. Fine. We'll see. <laughs> hey, watch it! I was expecting a quest out of that. Yeah, um, the reason I'm a little confused is, like, Tonda was supposed to teach us how to throw a good punch. Some of the other people are supposed to teach us stuff as well. I don't really know. They're not on our quest anymore, though. So I'm a little corn fuzzled about that. But there's a quest giver there. Quest giver there. Let's go to this one, because this one seems to be moving, so maybe he's at least not in bed or something. At least the bailiff isn't mad now. I don't know why the bailiff... I don't know why our decisions weren't the best ones before. It seemed like it all made sense to me. Sure, it made sense to you guys as well. But for some reason, to the game, it pisses the shit out of him for fucking ups. And very unfortunate in my mind that that's how it had to work out. Oh, it's Sir Hanish. Just the man I want to see. I need help with something. Oh, the game the save got stuck on our screen. The Archbishop's vicar has come to Ujit. I don't know why exactly, but the rumor is that he's on the hunt for heretics, which frankly never meant any good, especially for me. Does vicar do? Sorry, but I'm not really up on religious ranks, sir. What does a vicar do exactly? You don't have to apologize. It's the devil's own work to make sense of their twisted hierarchy. The vicar is short for vicarious, meaning in place of. He has full power to act on his superior's behalf. I see. In this case, sadly, the superior in question is that nincompoop, Archbishop Zbigniew Hare of Hassenburg. What should I do, what should I do about him, then? Firstly, find out why he's really here. He might truly be on the hunt for heretics, which wouldn't be good news. Or it's equally possible he's here to size up my estate, which would be even worse. I understand. And then what? The best thing for me and all concerned would be for him to pack his bags and go back to Prague. And how can I, um, encourage him to do that? I can't just kick him out, can I? No, of course not. But if you can make him believe there's nothing to find here, he'll be off in no time. So tell him I've sent you to assist him. I understand. And my task is to assist him in finding nothing. Indeed. So right away, what if there actually are heretics? No problem with the harsh visit. And what if there really are heretics? My boy, my boy, have you ever seen a heretic? No. There, you see. I haven't either. Most of the time, the prelates just invent them to scare folk with. So don't put much faith in their existence. But... But what if there really are some? Then deal with them. But make sure that interfering bastard gets out of here. See? Are you at odds with the Archbishop in some way, sir? No, I've never even seen him. But that's no guarantee he doesn't have his eye on my estate. But how could he get his hands on it? He's an archbishop. They have long fingers, my boy. And now, without the king around, it's the perfect time to amass a nice little hoard. Believe me, I know. They say in Prague that he's a complete dolt. But I rather doubt that. Why? 
All the Hare clan are as shrewd as they come. I know that better than most. Uh huh. Sorry, well, well, we'll get going straight away. Good luck, lad, and be careful. Clergymen are wily weasels. Shall take care. I'll be careful. <laughs> Don't worry, Sir Hannes. I uh, hate when the game save gets stuck on our screen, but not too much you can do about it other than quit. Oh, wait. To... Shit. I was kind of hoping maybe that would get rid of it. Activity giver there. Put full screen. Let's log. Sent. Scavenger Walston info. So we don't need that right now. Long ride up there. Probably fast travel because I don't think I want to deal with the ride myself. Yes, I would like to fast travel. Long, long ride. I'm surprised it's uninterrupted. Fortunately, it's also probably too late to start the quest, huh? So that looks like it might be right there, huh? What do you want here, lad? God save, Monsignor. My name's Henry, and I've been sent by Sir Hanish of Lipa. Sir Hanish, hmm. And why is he sending you? I'm to assist you in your search. Oh, I see. How considerate of him. Well, you've come at the right time. I need someone who'll go unnoticed among the locals. I'm sure Sir Hanish told you what it's I'm filthy. doing here. <laughs> he said you're looking for heretics? Exactly. I'm seeking out the sores that inflict the body of the church. The rash of heretics. Valdensians. Dangerous heretics, one and all. I do the hell, the locals trusting you, suspects. How can I help you then? Excellent. Let's get right to the point, Henry. I know how to get to where the heretics congregate. And what's stopping you from going there, sir? That is to say, I know in the Ah, shit. Train. The crux of the matter is this. We caught a heretic in Gutenberg who told us of the heretics in Uschitz. Regrettably, by the time he got around to describing their meeting place, he was already raving and hardly coherent. I see. So do you know where they meet up, or don't you? Possibly. His account was confused, to say the least. I have a record somewhere here. Can you read, boy? Naturally, father. Otherwise, Sahanish wouldn't have sent me. I see. It's a good thing at least the servants of the nobility are getting a suitable education. Some of their own offspring can hardly write their own names. Here's the record of the interrogation. From what I can make out, his description of the route starts at the local tavern. 
Once you've found something out, come back and see me. I'll do my best, Father. Are there any suspects? Everyone is a suspect. You can be sure of that. But I'll know more after I finish the interrogations. We can't How answer did you that conclude way. there are heretics here? We caught one in Gutenberg. He confessed to everything, including meeting up with others in Ujits a few times. And that was all he told you? By the end, all his strength had left him, so he couldn't even put together a list. Expect you put him to torture? I see. I'm pleased to hear it. Uh, almost trust well, me. I'm not from Ujits exactly, so I don't know how well they'll accept me. That's good, because the last thing I need is one of these local good-for-nothings. I can't trust a single one of them. And they don't trust me either, but you're an ordinary lad with a likable face. If a bit simple-looking, <laughs> you'll have a much better chance of learning their secrets. You flatter me, Monsignor. Very well, then. Are the Who are these Valdensians? I've never heard of them. Really? Then you've either not been paying attention in church, or the parish priest in Retai is too idle to read out the bishop's missive to the congregation. Um... Both possibilities are equally disturbing, but I'll allow you the benefit of the doubt and assume it's the latter. But to answer your question, it's a heretical sect. I gathered that much, but what form does the heresy take? Look, boy, I don't have time right now to embark on theological disputation. Besides which, it's not something you need concern yourself with. Suffice it to say, they are heretics. Very well, Monsignor. I'm going to read the document, don't lie, Henry. I'll get working on it, sir. Unless it's God in with you, my son. We should find somewhere we can read better, though. Oop, that might be bad. Let's worry about getting stuck in that. Record of the interrogation of the heretic Peter of Hadrick. Scant was written down by Master Borislav, scribe to, the, scribe to the Archbishop regarding a testimony given by the questioned heretic, whereby the interrogation was conducted by the very Reverend Jan of Osik, Monsignor and Vicar to the Archbishop. An unlawful rite of torture was carried out by the town executioner Francis, called Shanks, in the town jail according to the resolution of the town church or town council. At first, the captive heretic, one Peter of Hadrick, did refuse to give testimony, whereupon the executioner was instructed to him to do so by the performance of arts. It will be stated that the interrogated Peter of Hadrick did long resist the executioner's persuasions, however he did finally respond to where as to the place the query as to the place of the assembly of the other heretics known to him. That they did meet in the town of Uzitz, where Vicar then asked prisoner to elaborate, that is who they were and in what house they assembled, Peter of Hadrick again fell into silence. The executioner was again obliged to exercise his position of art, persuasive art, which in due course the vicar ordered him to des desist, for the prisoner was greatly fatigued, whereupon he did suddenly find his voice and began to respond at length to the repeated query as to where he, he met with the other heretics. The vicar thereupon decreed that the testimony from the prisoner may be written down verbatim. May the Lord forgive me for hearing these heretical speeches. Which by my holy duty to Mother Church I am bound to set down in writing during this day. Thus spoke the heretic. I had my pilgrimage in Uzhits, a den of inequity where people are drinking and fornicating, so I left that corrupt place at once. And at once I saw another abomination, Temple of. Heard the Antichrist. With the proud Babylonian Tower, I went past it quickly, riding towards the sun. When I left the village, I came upon a crossroads, and I did not know which way to go, so I fell upon my knees and prayed. The prayer was heard, for the finger of Christ rose from the ground to show the right path. On I went. Oh, there's a cop car outside. 
The figure of Christ rose from the ground to show the right path. On I went through the sinful land, and suddenly I heard a sound of a thousand headed crow at work. I saw their queen on their towers. I journeyed further, and all at once there rose from the ground the jaws of the behemoth, and his broken teeth jutted to the heavens, still like the tombstones of Mobites. So I went through to the mouth of the beast. And by the road I saw a bed of apostles Peter and Andrew. I was hungry, so I took the fruits of their labors and, find, and filled my belly. Then I left for their house and saw two widows weeping and keening. I kept on with them. They let me sleep in their shadow. I went further along the edge of the world and saw the ribs of the great Leviathan washed by the sea. Then I saw two bridges over the river Jordan, and the devil tempted me to tempted to lure me to one side on the right. I saw through his deception and went against his will. Finally, I saw it, the gateway to the Garden of Paradise, mounted it with foliage. It was guarded by men of straw, but they saw I was good a Christian, let me enter therein. These were the last words uttered by the heretic of Peter Hadrick, for he did breathe his last. The vicar had then stated that his death surely was the Luke of Lucifer to silence his tongue for the ears of the servants of God. The executioner thereupon took umbrage and made conceited objections, for which his wage was cut. Three Gorshin, and he was admonished to not repeat such remarks, especially in the presence of a holy servant of the Mother Church. The body of the heretic was buried outside the cemetery at walls as befits, so do not decrypt the hollow ground. Thereby, the case of the heretic Peter of Hadrick was about to close in accordance with ecclesiastical law. What's the hold up? Hey, Ale here! I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. Seem to help. Villager, villager. Bailiff. Good health to you. Hope I can be of help to you. Nice. Got it for you right here. I'd like a beer. I've only got two hands. Can't talk to them. sure exactly what the game wants me to do here. I'm right well, supposed to talk to someone in particular here. This is Labari is talking about. wonder if this table is a better place to just read at because there's a light near it. I think I remember, once I saw another abomination temple of the I think these are directions that we're supposed to follow. Hard to say though, he said he left the town at once and saw the Tower of Babylon. Then rode towards the sun. I assume that means he went West, if you left at the afternoon. You don't really know.
also be the east if you left during the day. Just kind of taking a quick peek to see if there's anything that might... ...be confused with the Tower of Babel. There is the windmill up there. Which seems a possibility. I might even be on completely on the wrong track here. Every, of thinking their directions, but I kind of assume that's what the... Because it goes into detail for quite a long time about this guy's travel. But the Vicar also told us to visit the inn. I mean, the church could also be considered the Tower of Babel, perhaps. Won't exactly make sense because you saw it after he left. suspicious. At least in relation to what the things I might not be able to read this out here because it might be too dark. Rising Sun. Okay, so I think this is the right direction. Crossroads and which way go down here. Finger of Christ rose from the ground to show the right path that went through. Oops. Like, are these the teeth in the ground he's talking about? But he did that after deciding which way to go. Said the finger of Christ told him which path to take. I think we are on the right track of things because he said he saw the temple. Finger of Christ. Which path to take? Could be that. Yeah, I think these are our directions, but we're all out of time for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed and have a good day.